Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the top 5 legendary guaranteed item drops that you need in Enshrouded. By the nature of this video there is going to be some spoilers so if you don't want those maybe save this video for later on. And I would just like to do a big shout out to other creators and my community for these ideas. Lots of people have been putting them in my comments but I have seen some other people cover various points in and about their other videos. I'm just doing mine in a recap of my top 5 favourite in this video. But big shout out to people like 4am, people like Mordorim and many many others who have been making these fantastic guides on where you can find these items. So be sure to check those ones out as well. This one is going to be a recap on my top 5 that I think every build will make use of and you definitely want to get your hands on as early as you possibly can. If you do find it useful, drop me a like and a subscribe down below and let's jump right into the video. So first and foremost, if you haven't already got it, you do want to get your hands on the Ghost Glider. This can be found in the bottom right hand corner at the Sun Temple here. What you'll need to do is unlock the Ancient Spire Kindle Wastes Fast Travel and once you've got this, you can simply glide down. Now I actually have a home here because there's a couple of things I'm going to show you in this video around this location. So what you want to do is make your way over to the Sun Temple and I will show you the location of where to get it. Alright, so when you get towards the temple, you do want to head down towards the front door here. You can get yourselves in. This is where everybody will be able to enter. But as you can see, you do need to be able to get yourself three of the buttons. What you can do instead in order to get yourself in, one of the buttons is there. So it's fairly easy to work out the puzzle. But you can run up the side of this cliff here and you can simply jump in around the side where this kind of flame is. Now when you first get into here what you want to do is look through this little crack in the wall here as you can see that one is going to allow you to get the first button so you do want to make sure you bring a bow or something with you You can shoot that one that's your first button done. We then want to move around to the left hand side here we can have a little look behind this bookcase and that is going to be our second button so you want to shove that one out of the way press that button and that is job done there. Then we come around the corner again and we head over here to this one and there is a button at the top which we can press and if we go around the corner to the final balcony side which is if you're facing outwards from it it's the southwest corner that will be your final button. Now this means if you go back towards the front door you can see that this middle section is open be sure not to get hit by the lightning and the fire as you're going around. Now, fair warning, this area is pretty loud from the dragon things that continuously sort of attack and fly at you. You can go out and kill them if you want to, but if you don't, they are just going to make a lot of noise for the whole time that you're here. So they can be quite annoying. Now you want to make your way up towards the top of this tower here. Now once you do get towards the top of the staircase inside the tower here, you can see there's a little jump platform from this side and then there is a little grapple hook up. You then need to climb up this wall just to the side here and make your way towards the top of the tower yet again. Another little jump across here that you want to do, I would definitely recommend having double jump for this. And there is a little chest that you can grab there that has some loot in it. Then you want to make your way all the way up to the top of this middle tower. There is a point here that says that a lockpick is required, so I definitely recommend bringing a lockpick with you for this particular part. Then simply want to make your way up to the top middle, press E and get yourself up to the top here. Once you E up to this middle platform here, you can actually go ahead and loot yourself the ghost glider from this chest right here, which is the legendary glider in the game. This is the first bit of loot. But that is not all. There is also another chest if you work your way up to the top of this. So you do want to have double jump ready for this. You can go ahead and make your way up and continue to climb all the way up to the top of this. There is now a little metal climbing thing here. So you can get up very, very easily. Makes this very, very accessible. And what you can do is go ahead and climb up to the top here. There is a chest. I've already looted it on this server reset. But this chest has a chance to drop you the Ring of the Ancients which is a very, very powerful ring in Enshrouded, and it gives you plus one to each of the stats. Now, that doesn't sound that great off the top, but if you think about it in this respect, it gives you plus one to Dexterity, which increases your range damage by 5%. It gives you plus one to Strength, which gives you 5% melee damage. It gives you plus one to Constitution, which is increasing your health by 50. It gives you plus one to Intelligence, which gives you magic damage plus 5%. It gives plus one to spirit, which gives you 20 mana. It gives you plus one to endurance, which gives you 10 stamina. So this actually turns out to be a very, very good ring. So you can, of course, farm this one. If you do want to go ahead and farm this particular ring, this is probably the best chest for it. There may be some others. Do let me know in the comments if you do know some other good locations. But this is where I've been able to pick it up a couple of times. And what you want to do for that one is go ahead and set your flame altar up, probably on the top of this hill to the side. So you can just simply glide across or jump across this tower and climb up every time in order to get it. 
as you can see, this is the Ring of the Ancients. It gives you plus one to all of the stats that I listed before. So certainly you want to get your hands on this one. All right, next then we are going to be talking about the Shroud Weaver, which is another guaranteed legendary drop. If we head back to this Scatterburn area, I obviously have a home here, so I'm going to take you from this location. But if not, you can see the Ancient Spire there. You just simply want to come across from the Kindleways Fast Travel Spire and glide your way across, especially if you've got the Ghost Collider, which I just showed you how to get. It's going to be much easier for you to do that from now on. So what you want to do for this location is head to pretty much where I am now. If you have got this sort of quest in the bottom corner for the Shroud route, this is a good indicator. Just in front of where the mine is behind us here. And you want to simply jump down to this location, head straight down, don't overshoot it. Land on this bit, go towards the wood and you'll see the golden gilded chest here. And you have got your hands on the Shroud Weaver. This one is plus 9 fire magic damage and the same again it then has precise which is increased critical hit chance by five percent vicious which is increases backstab damage by 20 percent and recharge which increases health regeneration by one so this is a fantastic legendary range staff it is 47 power and it is a guaranteed drop from this location so go ahead and pick that one up and just to quickly show you on the map again where this one is right on the edge of the cliff just to the right of the mine here next then we are going to be looking to get the ring of rapicity this one is a fantastic ring that gives you a lot of mana regeneration have shown this off in a previous video but i do think it's such a good ring that i want to make sure as many people as possible can get their hands on it for this one you want to head to willow crush which in respective to where the first home base asks you to go which is here you simply go up you want to go towards the Revelwood Fast Travel Spire, and it is next to, directly next to this Flame Shrine here on the left-hand side. So you should be able to find this one pretty easily. If you go from the Shrine like I am right now, you can see you just simply want to double jump off and glide straight there. And you're aiming for this mounting on the left-hand side. If you've got a less good glider or you think you're not going to make it, stick to the right-hand side. And there is a bridge just on the right, which you'll see in a moment, that you can simply go across in order to be able to get to this location. And the place that you want to go to is directly at the other side of the bridge, so it makes no difference. It's just going to take you a little bit extra time. Now, obviously, for this one, make sure you bring a pickaxe with you. It will require some mining. And what we're going to do, you can see you would come across that bridge there if you'd gone the right route. And we simply walk over towards this big stone thing right here. And you can see a little bit of red glowing through the ground. We take out the pickaxe. You want to hit this around three or four times. And it will reveal the location of this loot. You can jump down here, grab this one. And it gives you the Ring of Rapacity, which is minus 20 mana. So you do get less mana, but it does give you plus 20 mana regeneration. This can be equipped twice to stack this bonus up. And it is very, very, very powerful. It's super useful if you are doing a magic build or if you just want to be able to glide and use your updraft and other things like that. This is a very, very helpful ring. So you can do this one once or twice, depending if you do want to get one or two of them. But that is a guaranteed spawn location just under that wooden bit every single time. Finally, then, we are going to be talking about the Commander's Ring. This is a legendary guaranteed drop that gives you plus 30 mana and plus 30 health. This one can be gathered from the Pike, the Fell Wisp Wyvern, so obviously come prepared for that. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, and then I'm going to show you the drop from it as well. Now, obviously, for this, we do want to go into the final bit of the keep in order to get it. If you do want to farm this item out, I would recommend putting a flame altar around where I'm stood here on the map. You can just build one on the side of this here. It's going to mean you can get in here very, very easily. Of course, just glide across, get yourself to a location that you're going to want to be in. And then when you're ready, you can jump down in into the arena now if you've not been here before obviously you'll have to make your way through around this area but there is a flame respawn up here so you can go ahead and grab this one if you do think you're going to die of course if you place a flame altar on the hill you'll be able to respawn there as well and then you simply just want to jump in for this fight make sure to glide on the way down because you will take some fall damage if not this guy spawns in and you simply want to fight him to kill him all right, as you can see, once you've gone ahead and killed this guy, you go ahead and loot him and you will see the commander's ring there, 30 mana and 30 health. You do also, of course, get the key to the pike, the wisp wyvern head if this is your first time killing him. But this one is going to give you the commander's ring, which is very, very useful indeed. That fight is still pretty difficult, even when I am level 25 with, you know, maximum level stuff, very good gear. I'm using legendary equipment, level 23 to 25 armors and all that kind of stuff. So this is a pretty decent fight still. You do want to bring some health regen food. You do want to bring some damage buff in. For me, that's strength, but either dexterity or intelligence if that's your preferred playstyle. And I would recommend, of course, some constitution buff and food like meat there as well does really help 
Um, another thing that I've chosen to take with me is this perk right here, which is Battle Heal, which is when you deal critical damage with your melee weapon, you heal 5% of your maximum health. On top of that, I've got a lot of things on the weapon and other perks that increase my critical chance as well as my damage. So something like that or some form of lifesteal slash healing is going to be really useful. On top of this, I do like to run the Ring of Endless Life, which gives you Life Steal Leech. So that is another thing that is going to be useful for this fight if you do have something similar to throw on. Just as some recommendations on how you can complete this much easier. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If you have enjoyed, please do drop me a like and a subscribe down below. If you'd like me to make a part two with some more items that you could be farming in this game for legendary drops, etc. Let me know down in the comments. And if there is any that you think I should have included that I haven't, also let me know that down below. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to be dropping tons more of Enshrouded content here on the channel very, very shortly. Other than that, I'll catch you again very soon on my next video. Take care and peace.